Welcome to the Belmont Business Report. I'm your host, Paula Rajan. The Belmont Business Report is a community service that highlights Belmont businesses so we can meet the owners and learn more about their business. <coughs> My guest today is Kathy Doherty, shop girl. Welcome, Kathy. Thanks, Paul. Thanks for having me. Kathy, tell our viewers a little bit about <coughs> yourself and your background and why you decided to open Shop Grill in the Belmont area. Sure. Well, um, when I think of my background, I think of um, growing up with my mother and sister, my um, always discussing what outfit we'd wear at the next event. My mother uh, trained as a dressmaker, so she, she instilled the proper fit on us. So we... Um, that was our life. We'd sit around and uh, study a book called Color Me Beautiful. You might be familiar with it, where it goes by the four seasons. Everyone is a season. Depending on your season, you'd wear certain colors that would um, accent your your look. That was probably uh, the precursor to the, the, the colors that, that, that we do at the, the department level now. Back right, then. Color right. Color Me Beautiful. Exactly. Okay, yeah. It was ahead. the original. Yeah, go ahead. Um, and then we'd have to refer back to it as time went on um, because my mother would always say that as you age, your season changes. Okay. <laughs> so you're not, if you, I was born a winter, but I'm a fall now uh, <laughs> or autumn. Um, so this, this was always part of our life. I, I, I kind of thought everyone was like that who, you know, cared about fit and clothing and what you'd wear. But um, <clears throat> as I um, was home raising my son Jack, I had even more time to master this art of shopping. And I started getting a lot of compliments, people saying I have a good eye, a good sense of style. And it still it was puzzling to me because it just came natural and I thought, doesn't everybody? But um, I would, um, I would, um, buy some outfits for my husband and son. And um, at first my husband would say, oh, I don't know about this, but then he'd go to work and everyone thought he looked fabulous. And then he got to like my ideas. So um, I you know, was doing that, then my son, our home. And like I said, people kept saying, gee, would you help me with my husband or come to my house? and?" Um, you know, give me an idea. I have this odd corner that I don't know what to do with. So it started early in your life, and so basically it's in right. your blood, and then it became natural, and exactly. you started and within I, your family, and then it branched out uh, to uh, uh, some friends, probably. And, exactly. And, yeah. and then I thought maybe I should make this official, and I, I befriended many of the merchants in Belmont from all the shopping. And one in particular, Ursula Weaver, who owns All That, all matters, that matters, became yeah. friendly with her. And, and um, I said, Gee, what do you think if I try this personal shopping thing? She's like, yeah, I definitely, I think you should. You'd be great at it. You're already doing it. So then I, um, I ran it by my husband. Like, Mike, what do you think if I make this shop girl thing official? He's like, Kathy, that's a great idea. You're already doing it. You're a natural. Um, he said, look what you've done for me. So then, um, then he's like, you know, maybe I can retire after all because I think you're going to be a big success. <laughs> but at the moment, he still has his day job. <laughs> okay. And so, uh, who is Shop Girl now? You, 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 uh, mentioned the <clears throat> progress and the transition to uh, helping people, but it, it, there must be a lot that goes into it. There's got to be a personal assessment, a style assessment. Um, it, it, this is professional <clears throat> talents that you're able to use uh, on, on a friendly level to help people achieve either their style goals or their um, gift goals. Or th there's um, three or four different services, I think, that you should tell the viewers about that you okay. uh, um, evolved with. Yeah, well, um, to answer the question, who is Shop Girl, that would be me. Yes. And what I can help people with is, like you said, a variety of things, whether you need personal shopping for clothing, accessories, housewares, whether it's that you don't have the time, you don't have the knowledge, the interest, 
uh, that that's where I come in. I can just you can tell me what you need, and I go get it. Okay. Or we could go together if you prefer. I need shop grill. Now, what would you do? Okay. Would you come to my closet and start with my closet and look at me and tell me tell me how you would give me an assessment? Okay. Well, if you need shop girl in terms of the the um, <clears throat> wardrobe evaluation, yeah. say yeah. for example, what yeah. what we would do the shopping is shopping and yeah wardrobe. Go into your closet and we just go through your clothes and. Um, we might have to say goodbye to some, maybe not. Maybe we, we just need to switch things around, the way you're pairing things. Um, it could be a number of things, or maybe you need a, a new tie for this particular suit, something with a little more punch. Um, which Look at your shoes. Make sure they're up to date and looking good and comfortable. You want to be able to walk nice. If not, so, then you got to take me by the I could either take and, you yeah, or yeah. what my husband prefers, I just do it. So either way, so I can go alone, get some ideas, or we can go together and then maybe stop for lunch. <laughs> and I bet you get a lot of positive reinforcement once it's done and they say, oh, thank you. Everyone loved the outfit. and Yeah, I, I have to say I have gotten positive um, reinforcement after the job is done and that's what makes it so exciting. And it must be a sigh of relief for the customer <clears throat> too or for the, uh, per, the person that you help to be able to yeah, over, I, I overcome it, the, the, the problem. Yeah, I think it is. Um, sometimes um, people don't have time to shop but they want to get these things done whether it's around their house and um, I could just get it done for them and they can... Give continue. us an example of a great find. Oh. Uh, I do happen to have one. Um, this happened recently. I was in um, Portland, Maine, just shopping with a girlfriend, just poking around for the day. And we, we stopped in a consignment shop. We walk in. First, I spotted a pair of boots that I thought I should have. But then after that, I looked over to the left, and there was this <clears throat> hot pink spring coat. And I thought of one of my clients immediately. It seemed like her color, her style. She wasn't in the market for a coat, but she always would say, um, you know, if you ever see anything, keep me in mind. And you know it would be perfect for her. Oh, I did. So I, sent, I took a picture and I sent her a text message, said, do you need a spring coat? And uh, she was like, I don't know. Um, you know, I shouldn't spend the money. And then, um, the picture didn't do it justice, and then she was a little concerned about the size. So then I look over, and the saleswoman happened to be her same figure as the client, tall and thin. She even had the same coloring. So the, she um, agreed to try on the coat. And then I took another picture, and that so mm -hmm. sealed the deal. And uh, we got home, and... Um, she, I brought it right to her house, and she tried it on. It fits like a glove, and she loves it. That's good. So That's that was story. so exciting. Yeah, she didn't expect it. <clears throat> yeah, and, uh, she's like, oh, now I have a now spring coat. We, we've talked about clothing. Uh, you also do uh, gift personal shopping, and yeah. also I know on your brochure, and you always had about, uh, <clears throat> we'll get into the man cave to magnificent, but you also do gift missions and gift shopping. Is, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes... Um, Say, for example, um, a grandmother, you know, she's getting a little older, she's having trouble um, getting out, and she tends to give the grandchildren checks, and she would rather give them a little special. So I talk to her, get an idea of her grandchild, and pick out, and the age, pick out something a little um, more um, unique that they yeah. might like, rather than just the money that they can say that their grandmother gave it to them. So I, I like doing that, and then even there's always, um, you know, your your boss's daughter's wedding shower. You want like something good for that, and um, your father-in-law. That's always tricky what to find. So you're so, a good person so, to know. <laughs> yeah, if you play your cards right. <laughs> All right, shop girl. Okay, shop girl. Um, so, tell us about the man cave to magnificent. Well, everyone probably knows a. a single guy who um, has a high demanding job, he, he's a regular at the gym, a busy social life,
but he came straight from either the dorm or his mother's basement, and he's just got the neon signs, a futon, um, and it works for a while, but as he starts to increase his social life, it, it's not as um, inviting, say, for maybe a, a date. So that's where I could come in. I could see he can let, explain his budget, and I could get a sense of him, what style he would go for. <clears throat> then I could work on a budget, or I could not work on a budget, depending. <laughs> and then I just, you know, start off simple and, you know, make it a little more comfortable for him. <clears throat> um, not, you know, nothing upscale, just nice where he can entertain, have his family over, and he could feel proud and come home from work and be able to relax in a nice place and not feel like he's still in the dorm. That yeah, must be a great feeling. Yeah. Uh, I know you're very active locally, <coughs> uh, especially in fundraising efforts. Well, I know some of the organizations that you've uh, participated in, uh, Belmont Day School, the Breast Cancer Research. You want to tell us uh, a, a little bit of what you do and what you uh, donate uh, uh, to these uh, charities? Sure. They've, um, they've just, the Belmont Day School, for example, has, um, they um, called me. They were having a fundraiser to, uh, for enrichment programs in their school, <clears throat> as well as um, professional development, and they, um, they had seen my article in the Belmont Citizens Herald, and um, they thought, they asked if I would donate some of my services. So what I did, I gave them a gift certificate for two hours of shop girl services, and they could pick and choose what they, what they need or want. That's from great. there. It must feel good to give back to the it community. It is. Yeah. And I just today dropped off a gift certificate for the Foundation of Belmont Education, the public schools. Okay. They have their um, fundraiser in March. So I'll do the same, the two-hour gift certificate. Okay. I'd like to know more and tell the viewers about <clears throat> Ask Shop Girl. Uh, I'm, thanks for asking about that. Um, that just started in February. Um, it's a monthly column, again, in the Belmont Citizens Herald, um, answering readers' questions. It's called Ask Shop Girl, and um, I've been getting a lot of questions, and I just try to figure out which question would um, <clears throat> accommodate the most people. Uh, the way it came up is funny. Um, I, was, I had done an article with Christine Kenny in the Belmont paper holiday gift guide and then I was getting ready to prepare for the telethon the Belmont food pantry um, <clears throat> I had like last minute gift ideas for the telethon leading up to that Christine and Joanna the editor uh, called and emailed me a couple times with other questions about teacher gifts and odds and ends so um, we ar I arrived to the telethon, and Joanna thanked me for helping out. And I just said, perhaps Belmont needs an Ask Shop Girl column. So obviously, a there's a, um, a lot of questions out there. <laughs> OK, so, so that's it's, how so it's it an ongoing? Took yes, it's going to be once a month for now, and then maybe we'll up it a bit. OK, and have I you guess. got some questions yet? Have you? Oh, yeah, I have a, I have a lot of questions about um, one that's on the top of my mind, someone asked about the new um, trend of wearing leggings but not wanting to look like a teenager. How do you coordinate um, that look if you're a little older? Okay. And then some, a lot of other... Well, I want to uh, know the answer. Well, you'll have to wait till the next issue oh. of Ask Shop Girl. Okay. okay. I can't give away all my secrets. Well, maybe, maybe off camera we can talk about it. Okay. Maybe. Um, what's next for Shop Girl? Well, I always thought that um, Shop Girl needs a book. Either a, um, a little pocket guide to Shop Girl, like what would Shop Girl do? People could carry it around in their pocketbook if they're shopping and they're like, oh, which one should I do or how should I arrange this? They could look me up and have, I'll have the answer. Or a little book, like a Shop Girl's little black book of style, for example, um, do's and don'ts. Um, so those are some things I'm tossing around and working on. Um, a TV show would always be fun, maybe um, like a monthly show, um, 
holiday gifts, you know, Mother's Day gift ideas, something like that. That all sounds the, very the, uh, exciting. It's in very the exciting. I Kathy, we covered a lot. Is there anything else you would like to add to what we covered? <clears throat> um, yeah, I think we did cover a lot, but I guess I um, just want to end by reminding people that um, I've come to the rescue for a lot of situations. So um, if all else fails, don't forget to ask Shop Girl. Ask Shop Girl. Okay, tell us again how we can oh. contact <clears throat> you and oh. your business. Okay, there's a couple ways. I have a website. It's shopgirl.vpweb.com. Okay, okay, I think that'll be on camera. Okay. Say that again. Shopgirl.vp, just think of vice president, web.com. Um, the phone number, 617-480-3893. Um, on the website, you could, through that, you could email me. But my personal email that goes with the business is k.shopgirl at verizon.net. Okay. Kathy, but thank you. You've uh, been delightful. Oh, been thank delightful. you, Paul. That concludes this episode of the <clears throat> Belmont Business Report. I'd like to thank my guest, Kathy Doherty. I know I learned a lot, and hopefully you have too. Now to end today's show, Ben Franklin on Trapello Road in Cushing Square has been around for 54 years, but it's had to reinvent itself due to the growth of large department stores. Today, Ben Franklin in Belmont is one of the last five and dimes in Massachusetts. Julie Lynn talked to Liz Daly, a longtime employee of Ben Franklin. Hi, my name is Liz Daly. I've worked here for about 30 years. Wow. Off and on, yes. I started in high school way back in the 70s, and I've been here for a long time. Ben Franklin's been here for 54 years in Belmont. Before that, it was Woolworths, um, starting in the 20s. So it's been a 5 and 10 for a really long time. 5 and 10 was from the old days when things were actually 5 and 10 cents. I think we have bubble gum that's left for 5 cents now. But it was just a term used to just um, describe, you know, the type of store as opposed to like a drugstore or something like that, which were really the only kind of stores that were available back then. There were no, de no uh, department stores were just for clothing. There were no, you know, CVS's or um, Ann and Hope, Bradley's Target, none of those were around way back then. When I started, way back in the 70s, there were over 4,000 nationwide. Uh -huh. Yeah, they were centered out of Chicago and we survived from our loyal customers. You know, everybody local that just, you know, runs in for, you know, a quick birthday present, school projects, sewing, and we've just, you know, we have a good mix of merchandise. I think our best seller is school projects. I mean, we have people running in, crazed mothers coming in five minutes before we close, poster board, project board, all kinds of art supplies. We have great toys for children. We have, and we have a, a newly enlarged book department, which is doing spectacular for us. And the fabric, the notions, our notion salesman said we sell more than any of his other accounts in all of New England. Actually, we've noticed as, as the economy had gone down a little bit, we were selling quite a bit more in repairs, patches and thread, sewing, everyone sewing their holes. Yeah. So it's, the fabric has done great for us. There's not very many places that have fabric anymore. We have great quality um, gift ideas. All our end caps are all, um, actually we color coordin coordinate them for people that just kind of catch their eye for, if you're, you know, Valentine's, we have you know, red end caps, all the really pretty red, you know, just little, um, that people like to put around their house and things that are really you um, that you can really utilize in your house. The high school kids are great. We have the best high school kids and college. They go on for college. They come home on break and we fit them right into the um, schedule. 
and they're, they're just loyal and it's just so nice to see them interact with the customers. They're really genuinely just really polite and very helpful. So we've been lucky that way. Yeah, our best season is actually Halloween to Christmas. Halloween is definitely number two, but it's working its way right up there. Christmas, of course, is just spectacular for us. We have um, two seasonal aisles that we fill up with all great merchandise, and we do really, really well for you know the local people. And then, of course, in Halloween, we have the big outdoor um, Cushing Square Halloween days that you know we have over 500 children come and get candy on Halloween day, which is very fun for us. Nephews, I get a lot of trade magazines. I get a lot of catalogs at my at my house. My mailman loves me. Uh, just all sorts of things coming in and you know I go to some shows and you know you can see what some the new thing we're always trying to find the new thing actually the new thing is this monsters which is stemmed off from the balls which we had a Christmas that we sold hundreds of yeah it was a great thing yeah, it's always good when you find the right thing <laughs> when Matt took over he really didn't have an idea of you know a lot of the old-fashioned aspects of the store he wanted everything new and modern and bright and cheery which is fine and, and we do well with that merchandise but people are still looking for you know just the old the hairnets the sock donners the old-fashioned items that we still have tucked in the corners of the store the people come in and they're so happy that they've been searching everywhere for a certain merchandise so we still keep that and uh, we just have a little modern update on all of it so keep everybody happy we have like a um, like a glass top for a percolator. People ask all the time and are just so happy that they find that. The sock darners, people that still want to darn their socks. If you have a nice wool pair of socks, we have the wood darner that sells like crazy. Liquid starch, we sell liquid starch and uh, some other products in the cleaning department that other regular stores just don't have anymore. And, and it's just, I know people come in and they're telling other customers as they walk up the aisle, oh, good I found. I think we'll be here for a good long time. We have faithful customers that come in all the time. We know, you know, good half of their names and, you know, they know us and I think they feel um, secure and happy to come in. We, we get so many compliments on, you know, the merchandise that we carry and just that little thing that you can't find anyplace else. So it's um, been fun all these years and uh, I enjoy my job and it's, um, Rewarding to see things go out the door with people with a smile on their face.